everyone, it is I, Bug, back again with another video. Now, in today's video, I, clearly it's not a gaming video, so basically, I'm really excited about this. We got new pets. So, if you guys have seen my previous videos, because I started doing, like, now I've just been doing, like, gaming videos and stuff like that, but uh, that's not what I used to do. I used to do mainly, like, uh, pet videos, like about fish, and then it was also about bugs and stuff. Well, um, okay, I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this channel, because like I still want to keep doing gaming, but I think occasionally I would love to make videos where I like update you guys on bugs that I have or any other kind of pet. Um, but yeah, um, <laughs> so I got silkworms. I got silkworms, guys. I got silkworms. Okay. Sorry, my glasses are fogging up, so we're going to try not to use that for a bit. Also, my cat's here, so if you hear any jingling, you might also see her. She's, um, yeah, I don't know. You'll see. I guess we'll see. Anyway, so yeah, I got silkworms. I have them right here with me, and so I wanted to talk about them. Sadly, I don't have that camera that I was using before when I had, like, the spinies and stuff. Um, the reason for that... It's because it's not actually my camera, it's my girlfriend's camera. And so I gave it back to her. Um, and I don't currently have it. <laughs> um, but who knows, maybe she'll let me borrow it again. Um, and then we can do like a proper video where you guys can see them in better quality. But for now, I thought we'd just do it like this. So let me just like, brief little explanation. So, um, I love, I love bugs. I feel like that's kind of obvious, considering my name is Bug. So, I feel like it's kind of obvious. Plus, I've had bugs in the past. Um, so, bugs are my special interest. That's another thing. If you didn't know, I'm autistic. And bugs are my special interest. <laughs> I love them so much. And, like, okay. So, sorry, I'm just... So, like, my... Personally, like, I love all bugs. Love them all. Love them so much. But I have, like, a, a spe special kind of love for, like... Um, moths and and jumping spiders actually I love them I can't I can't handle how cute jumping spiders are but anyway oh also I just want to quickly say I'm sorry about my door being open sorry if that bothers anyone it's just because my cat's here and I want her to have the option of you know leaving when she wants but anyway what was I saying bugs yes so yeah um I love bugs and so basically I've really wanted to own moths for a really long time I've wanted to like raise them into moths and then maybe like set them free or just like keep them or breed them or something and um yeah so I would like look into it but every I couldn't find anywhere that would sell moths like pet stores or anything so I was like <laughs> this is gonna be difficult so the only option I really knew about was buying them online and personally I feel like kind of weird about buying animals online like live things because I'm just worried I guess like they won't you know, survive the journey, or, like, you, you know what I mean, like, you can't just, like, go into the store and be like, ooh, I want this one, or I want that, you know what I mean, I don't know. Anyway, long story short, um, I kind of gave up my moth dream for a little while, I was like, okay, I'm probably not gonna have moths for a while, and then I randomly, literally, like, five days ago, randomly remembered about domestic silk moths. I'll show a picture of them somewhere, I'm sure, but um, I randomly remembered them, and I was like, I'm gonna look into this. So I looked into it, because I know, sorry, one second, because I know that that's how they um, make silk, so people clearly are able to get them somewhere to, like, breed them and make silk out of them. So I was like, maybe I can get some, you know, maybe there's an easier way get your hands on these. So, I did a little bit of research, a little bit of research, and <laughs> I found out you can get them at some pet stores. Um, I think this, this video, like, I'm in Australia, so this video I watched wasn't based in Australia. I think it was America. I could be wrong. I can't remember. I've watched so many videos, <laughs> I don't remember anymore. But anyway, so I was like, oh my gosh, okay, I need to look into this. So I, like, googled it, and there was only two stores that sold them, like, in-store, you know, like, where you could actually go in, at least that I could find. There might be more, I don't know, but that's all I could find. One of them being Kellyville Pets, and I've mentioned them before in previous videos. Love that place. 
10 out of 10. Not sponsored, but I love them. I love them. I love them so much. Anyway, no, like, like, I don't know. They're just, they're just great there. They're just great there. Anyway, so I found out they were selling, uh, silkworms, um, as feeders, which is why, like, some pet stores sell them. They sell them for, like, so you can feed your lizards or your frogs or maybe even your spiders, I guess. Just, you know, whatever you may have. Except I wanted them so I could raise them into moths. <laughs> but like I said, because they're, you know, they're feeders, you can just not feed them to an animal and just raise it instead, which is what I've decided to do. So basically I picked the perfect time to do this because um, they're about to go out of season and they're about to no longer have them in stock, like at all, for a while. I don't know how long exactly, I forgot to ask them that because I'm, I'm smart that way. But yeah, so... Yeah, um, but yeah, but sorry, I've been rambling. I'm just trying to explain things, really. So I ended up getting these moths probably about, like, two to three days after having this thought. Yeah, I, I kind of dove, dove into it a little quickly. But, like, but honestly, it was mainly because they're so easy to care for. Like, I did all the research. I did so much research. They're really easy to care for. So I was like, all right, I can handle that. I can do that. They don't take up much space. They're, like whatever they're really easy to care for I'm like okay give them to me give me my children so um yeah so basically I went to Kellyville about three days ago now and I picked myself up a little box of oh, container sorry of feeder silkworms or whatever you want to call them and I love them so much. <laughs> I haven't been handling them too much because I don't want to disturb them too much. Because, you know, they're just they're sweet little babies. Don't want, to, don't want to hurt the babies. Um, but, yes. Also, to just express my love for moths. Uh, this is actually a toy moth I got of this exact species. They're also known as uh, poodle moths, as I, I believe. I've also heard people call them that. But, yeah. This is a domestic silk moth, and that's what these little sweethearts are going to be. But let me show you. So, now their enclosure is going to look uh, really underwhelming, to be honest. But this is basically what literally everywhere was telling me to do. So, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> um, I mean, honestly, one day I would love, like, when I move out and everything, to have... Because I, I hope... To have a whole bunch of different bugs in, in the future. I kind of want to have just like a room or a shed or something. Where I just have a whole bunch of bugs in it. And I want to make it look really good. But at the moment I'm just, you know, I'm still here. And I don't have much space or anything like that. So I'm just going to go off what I've been told, basically. By um, my research and so on. Anyway, so, uh, long story short, uh, here is the enclosure. Um, like I said, I don't have a good camera right now. Sorry. Um, so I will do some recording on my phone and probably insert it in places, but this is, <laughs> this is it. Yes, those are egg cartons and a toilet roll. So let me explain. Basically, um, these guys just need to, like, eat, eat. Like, they need to constantly eat, basically. So they just need... They basically just need a whole bunch of food, and I guess some space, or whatever. And, yeah, that's all you really need. You don't really need anything. Like, everyone was saying you need, like, like for 50 to 100 silkworms, you need, like, the size of a shoebox, which is pretty small, let's be real. But that's, that's what everyone was saying, like, the size of a shoebox for 50 to 100 of them. Like, that's, wow. <laughs> and basically, they just said, you know, put paper on the bottom put some like you know put their food in there whether that's uh, silkworm chow which is what I'm using which I'll explain a bit as well eventually <laughs> that might be another video though because that's I don't know um but yeah so silkworm chow um other people get them like fresh mulberry leaves but I don't know anywhere that has them like we don't have a mulberry tree anywhere near us so it was just easier for us to get the silkworm chow anyway um, so yeah, and you know, some people were saying, you know, put egg cartons in there so they can, like, eat their cocoons in it, or, like, some people were saying toilet rolls, so in the end I have both. <laughs> I put the toilet roll to kind of be a bridge, though, because I found that they don't really like to go back on the paper very much, they all kind of stay on the egg carton, so I was like, here's a bridge in case you want to 
gets the other carton. Um, but yeah, so really easy to care for. And I only have 15. So when, actually, funnily enough, um, the Kellyville, they sell a pack of 12 to 14. That's like the smallest amount you can get. <laughs> and I ended up with 15, which is a little funny. I got an extra one. Thank you, Kellyville. I know that wasn't intentional, but thank you. I really appreciate it. I love my 15 children. Anyway, um, but yeah, so I suppose maybe I can show you. Like I said, some of this footage is going to be, um, sorry, I ordered food and because I was hungry and anyway, uh, why does anyone order food? Uh, and it's suddenly close. It was telling me it was like nowhere near me and now suddenly it's like two minutes away. So that's cool. Anyway, <laughs> it's fine. I'll grab it after this. Hopefully, maybe. Okay. I'm going to be careful because my cat is kind of a little bit curious, but right now she's tired. So I think it'll be fine. Worst case, I'll have to kick her out of my room. But anyway, um, okay. How do I do this? Okay, I want to pick up someone who's active. I don't want to accidentally disturb someone who's molting. Yeah, this camera's probably not going to pick him up very well. However, here is my silkworm. One of them, obviously. Um, very small at the moment. Uh, they get about seven centimeters in length. So he's just a baby. I'm not sure how old they are because once again I forgot to ask uh, when I was at the pet store how old they are when you buy them so I know roughly you know how long they have but oops <laughs> also to be fair I was in a rush that day we had a lot of stuff to do that day but yeah this is just one of my 15 babies <laughs> so I'm gonna keep doing gaming of course but I also I, I want to put him back I don't want to disturb him too much as I've mentioned. And here you go, back to your food. Um, but yeah, I, um, I'm still gonna do gaming videos. Sorry, I'm just trying to grab the food that fell earlier. There we go. Yes, yeah, so I still wanna do gaming videos. Um, but I also wanna do, like, the occasional updates with these guys, like, when they're in their cocoons, and then when they're finally moths and everything. I feel like it'll be really exciting. I'm really excited. I love them and this is a literal dream come true for me like literally so I'm very very excited um so yeah we're basically thinking of um every batch that we have of giving that batch a name for example it's a random example but like this is Bobby and it's like 15 silkworms and then once these guys are gone we have another batch of that we're raising for example and then I'll be like this is Philip, and it's like, once again, like, 12 silkworms, like, you get what I mean? So, that's kind of the plan, but we haven't named this group yet. <laughs> it happened a little quickly, and I'm really, like, unsure what to name it. So yeah, I want to document them. Um, I'm hoping, like I said, I'm hoping I can get my girlfriend's camera back for a little while. Because um, these guys, they only live for two months. That's like their entire lifespan from, you know, beginning to end. But I didn't get these guys from eggs, you know, I didn't buy the eggs. So these guys would already be maybe like a couple weeks old or something. So in actuality, these guys only have a week and a half. A week and a half? A month and a half. But yet again, I could be wrong because once again, I don't know how old they were when I bought them. So I'm going to ask the pet store because like I said, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so these are my children. I'm very excited about this. Um, I can't wait till they become moths because they are the cutest things. Oh, I remember what I was going to say now, I think. So, so these guys, um, once they become moths, they can't fly or eat. So it's kind of like the easiest thing ever. You don't, they don't eat, you don't have to feed them. <laughs> Great. No, 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 I'm kidding. But, <laughs> but no, they don't, they don't eat, they don't fly. They're just, they just want to mate and move on, basically. That's all they want to do in their last five days of life. Because once they become moths, they only live for about five to seven days, which is honestly really sad, but I, I knew this going into it, so like I knew these guys weren't going to have very long of a life, but I feel like it's worth it, because like I just said, I love moths so much, I have always wanted to have this experience, so I'm really happy that I finally get to do this. I feel like this is kind of a Christmas present to myself, it's great, it's great, it's fantastic, um, but yeah, I don't know. 
I don't really know what else to say right now. Um, I'll probably do like a proper video later. Um, once again, with the camera. Um, explaining more about like their care and just showing you guys what they look like. Oh, something I really hope to get is uh, like a good macro lens or something because I love taking photos of bugs and I have a macro lens on my phone but it's not, you know, it's not like the most amazing macro lens, it's just on a phone. So I want to, um, I want to, um, yeah, I want to get one of those. And I feel like that would be freaking amazing because then we can get like close-ups of them. But sadly, I probably won't be able to get a macro lens for a very long time. So sadly, these guys probably won't be around by then. Um, but we are thinking of breeding them. So like letting them breed and keeping some of their eggs some because we can because like they're gonna lay like a hundred eggs each and like <laughs> I can't deal with that many you know so yeah so we're probably gonna sell the others or whatever do whatever we need to um so yeah I don't really know what else to say honestly so I um hope you guys enjoyed I hope you guys are just as excited for a future update or something um but yeah I'm gonna close them up and I'm gonna put them back onto their shelf but yeah, so, once again, you probably can't see them very well, but here they are, the children. Oh, here comes my cat. Hello, cat. Good thing you came now, because you can't touch these guys. Hello, this is Editing Bug. I just wanted to throw in some videos I have of the of the silkworms. So these are just videos closer up of them, so you guys can see them in better quality and like more of a close up idea of what they look like. But uh, yeah, I have some updates actually. One of them is now in a cocoon. It's been like a week since I filmed this video. So yeah, um, they're in a cocoon now, one of them. But hopefully I can show you guys that soon. But thank you. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me show you my cat for anyone who's wondering. Here she is. Here's my little my little butt. <laughs> she's she's been very naughty the past couple days actually. She keeps trying to eat one of my pens. Which probably sounds weird, but it's like a floppy pen, it flops. It's got a flower on it. Anyway. Um <laughs> But yeah, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you guys are just as interested or excited as I am. And I cannot wait to, to show you guys how they grow, really. So, so yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.